you mentioned the budget just now. How how does the treasurer's office interact in that in that universe of a state where there hasn't been a budget for half a year? Yeah, I wish I had a greater role there. Uh, I unfortunately had a greater role when I was still in the state senate. The mm -hmm. treasurer has no formal role in passing a budget, and the times I've spoken up and suggested some changes or some priorities, they haven't really seemed to listen that much. Yeah. But that doesn't stop us from traveling around the state, trying to shine the spotlight on some areas that we think are important investments, like investing in our young people's education. That being the 529 savings program. Yeah, your office runs. So we're we're very interested in making sure that families are saving for college, but also there are about 130,000 students who were promised scholarships to go to college this year. They showed up on campus, they showed up ready to work, be educated, become more productive members of our state. And they were told, sorry, there's no money. The General Assembly didn't pass any money for MAP grants. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, that's acceptable if they have that priority. I disagree. I just think it's really wrong you send letters to these students promising them that we've got money for you, it's there, and then yank it out in the middle of the school year. Uh, that's kind of like pensions being a promise, and then they've passed this law, which tossed out. Yeah, so there are going to have some real issues there as well. Now, my hope, though, is to get people who sit down and try to work on solutions. Everyone has an interest in finding a solution to this. Yeah. You know, even the, the pensioners, uh, I represented a lot of them in Champaign, have said, we want to make sure this system is funded, we want to make sure the system is functional going forward, and they were willing to talk uh, on potential solutions. But right now, there's just not an awful lot of dialogue going on. Yeah. 